We've had a bit of a telepathic invasion from the Light Warden, I think. It's the Light Warden. And we are continuing our errands around this village of Pla Eni as we make preparations to get another uh, MacGuffin thing that we need to fight the Light Warden. The... oh, hey. Oh, I thought that was going to be an ether current thing. All right. The Elder's Answer. Weed Lad looks a satisfied new mo. Oh, there's nothing like honorable work. Thanks again for giving me the opportunity. Oh, I should mention that Elder Wide Ink returned a moment ago. If you seek them out, I dare say they'll have tidings for you. Tidings. I must have the tidings. Give me the tidings. I hope I never hear this music again. It's so repetitive. Wade Ink. I think this was the first one we spoke to. Ah, there you are. I'm informed that you've been an excellent patron to our people. For that, you have my thanks. Now then, you will be pleased to hear that we've come to a decision regarding the scepter. If you would gather your companions, I will deliver our answer. Yay, we finally get an answer on the scepter that we need. Before I begin, please allow me to express my gratitude for your kind patronage. Having been deprived of purpose for so long, our people are overjoyed at being able to serve again. But on the matter of the stone scepter... During our deliberations, we were forced to concede that we will never have the power to deal with our fallen monarch. We can release Titania neither from the castle nor from torment. In light of this, we have decided to entrust their fate to you. Here's the scepter. Take it, the stone scepter of the new Mo. Well, this makes three relics. One more and we can arrange a meeting with the Warden. Ere you continue your quest, allow me to enlighten you as regards your foe. Know that Titania is not a name, but a title bestowed upon one chosen to lead the Pixies by the grace of nature. This leader, upon Ilmeg's founding, arose as ruler of all Fey folk to bring order to our riotous kind. In our turn, we Fey folk render our blessing unto nature, unto water, wood, and wind, that our king might be further empowered. Though they are become a sin eater, their powers remain unchanged. When you face them, be prepared to face the full fury of nature. Oh dear, is that anything else? Is there anything else that we should know? Anything else? Hmm. Only that if you feel unready for the challenge, and none here would blame you for it, you are welcome to remain among us a while longer. After all, I myself have yet to enjoy your patronage, and who knows when I will next have the chance. We would see that you were comfortable, of course, and do all in our power to make you feel at home. <laughs> Oi! Honestly, I look away for one moment and every fairy in the... Okay, I'm uh, not doing this right. Honestly, I look away for one moment and ev oh, I still don't have it right. One mo... One moment. Every fairy... Oh, wow, it's gone. It's so gone. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly... I look away for one moment and every fairy in their uncle tries to steal my sapling from me. This is my sapling. Mine, do you hear? Not yours and not the first. And anyone who so much as thinks about trying to seduce her will wish they hadn't. Oh. 
Uh, the final relic is a pair of shoes wrought of crystal. They are held in the Amaro's safekeeping at their settlement, Wallachdorf. It beareth mentioning that these Amaro are unlike those which thou hast heretofore encountered. Owing to a peculiarity of evolution, they are capable of speech, and thus we might negotiate with them as we have the Fey folk. Okay. Though it saddens us to see you leave, we wish you well on your way. When you arrive in Wolikdorf, seek out the largest of the Amaro. His name is Sito, and he is their leader and the bearer of the relic. Okay. Let's be off then. Wow, man, this is, uh, I ain't no darn voice actor. I don't know how to switch accents on demand. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to go into my sound settings and turn off system sounds because I don't want to hear any photo photograph click sounds when I do a screenshot. There is a ton of side quests in that area there. I'm just going for a leisurely stroll here. Can we stop this accursed carnival music? The Burtenberg. Yay! The torturous music has stopped. Thon Anon, hello. Ah, how I would like to go and bathe in the lake, but the thought that the fourth will be waiting puts me right off. I don't know what these things would sound like. What would an Amaro sound like? Nimbus, what do you sound like? Rrr. You seek our leader. Continue on past the Aetherite. You cannot miss him. A trick of evolution means they can talk. Sure, that makes sense. Traveler? Sito, he makes his roost in the next building. You mean the next building? Sandman? Oh, as so old as I am, I can no longer hunt as I once did and must rely upon others to bring me food. In exchange, it is my duty to look after new arrivals to the flock. Oh. Okay. Oh, here's the enormous Amaro. It is quite large. Indeed, an enormous Amaro slumbers peacefully. What will you say? Sito? Meow, 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 meow. And... Ard... Bert? I'm not Ard Bert. Oh... Oh, forgive me. I was... having a dream. Seldom do men visit us. What brings you to our village? Meow, 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 meow. Did I hear you aright? You desire the crystal shoes that you may confront the Light Warden? Mm. No, no, you mustn't think such thoughts. Even if you are indeed immune to the Light's corruption, as you claim, 
vanquishing the king will bring you naught but sorrow. Forget this folly. Return whence you came. While we appreciate your concern, we have no choice in the matter. Will you not reconsider? Come, my friends, let us leave him with his thoughts. I've made a very poor choice with his voice. Hmm, tis harder by far to change the minds of those of they who mean well than they who mean ill. Tis harder by far to change the minds of they who mean well than they who mean ill. Forgive me, but I'm not sure I understand. And little wonder, tis the first time thou hast set foot here. Twould behoove you all to learn something of the nature of this community, I think, and there is no surer way than to speak with its members. In such wise, you will come to understand Sito's reason for refusing us. And, I hope, gain an insight into how he may yet be persuaded. So I bid ye seek out the Amaro and make yourselves known unto them. A gentle touch shall suffice by way of a greeting. Alright then, let's go our separate ways again. Elder's answer. Pet Rispa. Oh, we have to pet them. Oh, that's odd. Hello, Rispa. How are you? Grrr. Ah, how long has it been since first I felt man's touch? I cannot help but be reminded of my master's hand. He was a knight of Verbert, a noble and valiant soul. But like so many others, he died fighting the Sin Eaters. Though he is long departed, I remain in this land out of respect for his memory. Okay. Such a fine feeling it is to be petted. My master had a heavy hand, made heavier still by his gauntlet, but I loved it nevertheless. Okay. Who else needs to be petted? There's someone hiding back here. Eo Ann. Will you allow me to pet you, please? Ah, oh, that tickles. Enough. I never had a master. I'm not accustomed to it. Not that I dislike your kind, you understand. On the contrary, we Amaro were bred to be fond of men. In the beginning, we were all of us, we were all of us mindless beasts. But then a mage of Ronka gave us the gift of intelligence that we might better serve our masters. After that empire fell, those with the gift eventually died out. On rare occasions, however, we are born with the seed of our ancestors in us. If we live long enough amongst men, this seed may quicken, restoring the power of speech to us amongst other things. So it was with me, though I never had a master, as I told you. Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. It's magic. That's not a trick of evolution at all. It's the power of magic. Nimbus. Can I actually pet him correctly? Hey, it almost worked. Arr, what's happening? Why am I being padded? It's, it's wonderful. Seldom do we have the chance to enjoy the attentions of men. 
Your kind are loath to come here for fear of the Fey folk. But then we are Fey folk too. When first we made our home here, we swore an oath to the Fairy King, you see. Tis easy to forget sometimes. I see. Ah, Minfilia is trying to talk to a Amaro. They're so fluffy, it's like touching a cloud. <laughs> Hilarious. I cannot give you the crystal shoes. Abandon this folly. Fine then. Wait. I thought. Oh, Uriange is where I'm going. <laughs> I thought that was the where I turned in the quest. Thou hast peered into the hearts of the Amaro, I take it. Mm-hmm. Then thou canst not choose but see the intense and abiding love they bear for men. It is out of concern for our well-bearer. Blah, 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 blah. It is out of concern for our welfare, and not scorn, that Sito seeketh to dissuade us from confronting their king. Yet confront their king we must, and to that end we must needs have the crystal shoes. 